In this video, we're going to look at a work and energy, work and energy using Hooke's law for vertical motion. So what we've got here is a fixed point here, a spring with a mass of, at the moment, of 0 0.8. You can change the mass according to the slider. Uh, it is a, the natural length of the spring is actually two, so it's actually been pulled in a further 0 0.39 meters. Okay, and we have a modulus of elasticity of uh, 40 newtons okay and if we uh, release the particle we will see what happens hopefully okay not not much so let's make the extension a little bit but more so let's just stop it and reset it so let's make the initial extension a little bit more something like uh, there you go 0.9 okay if we leave the particle then we get that the spring will oscillate from a go up to a highest position and that back down to a lowest position. Now you can calculate these by using all this maths here, okay? And what I'd advise you to do is go to the GeoGebra app in the link of the video. But basically we've got to look at the increase in potential energy. Okay, uh, the particles will rise a distance of 0 0.9 uh, to minus X. Okay, uh, the stored energy of the spring will be to lambda over two LOX squared, which gives you that value. The initial stored energy will be uh, that, which is 0 0.92 times uh, 10, uh, uh, times, uh, 10 times 0 0.92 squared. The decrease in stored energy will be 10 times the uh, 0 0.92 squared minus x. The initial kinetic energy is zero. The increase in kinetic energy will be a half times 0 0.8 times v squared minus zero, which gives 0 0.4 v squared. So under the conservation of uh, mechanical energy, the increase in Ke plus the Pe will be the equal to the decrease of the stored energy. So therefore 0 0.4 v squared plus uh, 0. 8g times 0 0.92 minus x will be equal to 10 times 0 0.92 uh, squared minus x squared. If we rearrange that, we get that v is that, and v squared is that, and v will be equal to that. But at the greatest height, at this point here, the velocity will be equal to 0. If we solve that uh, quadratic, we will get two values, um, 0 0.92 for the lowest position, which is the extension and um, minus uh, 0 0.14 at the highest position. Okay, and then at the highest point the spring has is going to be 2 times that, which is 1.2 minus the uh, highest position. It's negative because it's below, uh, this distance here, and then that tells me how far the spring will go up. Okay, so you can look at the uh, GeoGebra app to um, have a look at this a bit more closely. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for uh, watching.